Numerous teenagers have reportedly turned up in emergency rooms after imbibing hand sanitizer. Does getting smashed on 120 proof Purell feel any different than getting wasted on wine, beer, or tequila? Maybe, but ethyl alcohol is ethyl alcohol, whether it's fermented from grapes, barley, or agave. Or in the case of sanitizer, corn, or the science lab. There's no evidence to support the popular notion that different kinds of alcohol incite different moods while drunk, but it's possible that non-alcoholic ingredients in your beverage could alter your inebriation or hangover. About 8% of the population is allergic to something in red wine, and research suggests the main culprit may be organic compounds which share traits with allergens found in fruits, nuts, and latex. Hard alcohol can also contain toxins, including acetone, furfural, and polyphenols. One study found that particular byproducts of fermentation in each kind of booze can play a role in the severity of hangovers. Subjects were given either bourbon or vodka masked with a cola mixer one night and a non-alcoholic placebo another night. The bourbon drinkers woke up feeling slightly worse, on average, than the vodka drinkers. Your mixer matters too. Researchers have found that drinks made with diet cola are more likely to produce drunken vomiting than those made with regular cola. Hand sanitizer, for its part, contains mostly alcohol and water, so fermentation byproducts are unlikely to be an issue. The main concern is simply the high concentration of alcohol, which makes it easy to get very drunk quickly and thus attractive to teenagers, while adults prefer scotch.